Hi, I'm Photified, and I'm here to show you how I use Filter Grade to take my images to the next level. Now, I was suffering from inconsistencies in my coloring before I got Filter Grade, and now that I have it, I couldn't be more pleased with it. If you go under your actions bar, you'll see the Filter Grade bundle that I have installed. Now, if you can't find it, it's underneath Window, and Actions should be right there at the top. So, if I open up the Filter Grade bundle, you're going to see that it has retro series, light leaks, film, chill, light, seasonal, black and white, fashion, and photo retouch. Now for this one, I'm going to play all for the black and white, and it's going to play all of the different actions that it has for black and white. Now after you get used to the program, you'll get to get your favorites, and you'll know which one to go to. I'm just going to show you that play all is how you learn. I toggle them on and off to look at them and I hit the delete button on my keyboard to delete them away. So here I am just toggling them on and deleting them away. Just to show you quickly that they all look different and they all have different applications. But I have my favorites and I'm sure that you'll find yours. For black and white I was looking for the advanced which is right here and I'm going to get rid of these other ones. Now when you open it up, you can see the different adjustment layers that Filter Grade put onto the image. As well as that, there's layer masks on each one of them. Now you can customize each of the Filter Grade actions. As you can see, I'm taking away the black and white and revealing the color, but I'm just looking for black and white. I was doing that for show purposes. So this image is done. It looks great. Moving on to the next one. Here I was looking just to get a little bit more color, a little bit deeper. And for that, I was going to go to the fashion one. Specifically Fashion Midnight. So I'm going to scroll down here and look for it. So I don't have to hit play all, I know which one I'm going for. Fashion Midnight, right here. And you can see all the adjustment layers and settings. So I'm just going to hit play. Boom. Looks great. Really pumped it up. And as you can see, I can lower the opacity on each one of them. Or I could use the layer masks and do it in specific areas. Toggle it on and off. You can see the color changing. Tone it back a little bit. And it's right about where I want it. Beautiful. All right, moving on to the next image here. Now I'm gonna show you some light leaks. For show purpose, I'm going to show you all of the light leak series two. So I just hit play there. I let it play through. Have a sip of your coffee. Now I know the first one is the one I'm after here, but I'm going to toggle on some other ones here to show you just the variety that they have with Filter Grade. I mean, all of these work for different images. After a while, you're going to get to memorizing them. Here we go, I'm gonna delete them all because this is the one I'm after. Now I'm gonna go in and specifically tweak the gradient here because I'm not wanting that color. And there you go. So I just changed the gradient and it completely changed the color of the light leak. As, as you can see, totally changed the attitude of the image. Now I'm gonna take out the gradient and the photo filter just because I want those whites in it still. But, as you can see, completely changed the image. Looks great. And now for this final image, I'm going to show you how I combine two of the different actions. And two of them that I use frequently are in the Retro series. So I'll apply the first one. 
and I'll press play on the second one. Now I'm going to lower down the opacity just so that both of them show through. Now it's a little bit too purple for me in the area of the jacket. So what I have to do is layer mask some of that away. I like the purple in the rest of the image, it's just not on the jacket. So there we go. But I need a little bit more black, so I'm going to go into the curves. Bring that down. I love how easy it is to adjust all of these specifically to each image. That way I can get a consistent look, but specific for each image. And that is thanks to filter grade. Easy powerful. I suggest filter grade. It really upped my game and I'm thankful that I found it.